Hello and welcome to the advanced control series. Today we are diving into another powerful control element in MathCAD Prime that is the radio button. This control is incredibly useful for creating interactive and dynamic worksheets, allowing users to make selections that drive computations and visualizations. Radio buttons are a form of input control that allow users to select one option from a predefined set. This makes them ideal for scenarios where a single unambiguous choice is required. To use a radio button in MathCAD Prime, you'll need to insert it from the input output tab and controls toolbar. Once inserted, you can configure its property and define its behavior using JScript code. By default, radio button comes with one output and no input like all the other controls. The process is same to add and remove inputs as it is for all other controls. We need to right click on control and then click on add inputs so that a placeholder will appear where you can enter numbers, arrays, strings or expressions. If you want to have multiple inputs, go to matrices tables tab and then click on insert right or insert left. Similarly, you can remove these inputs by using delete column or by clicking on control then select remove inputs. Math formatting can be utilized to change the font, size, font color and even add background color. Let us now have a look at the default code. The code begins with radio button event start. This function is executed when the radio button control is initialized. Radio button dot reset content clears any existing buttons. Radio button dot add button adds a button with label one, similarly two and three. Radio button event X is executed when the selection changes. Output dot value equal to radio button dot selected button assigns the selected button to the output. Then comes radio button event stop. It is used for any cleanup code. The last is radio button selection change. There's a placeholder for handling changes in selection. There are various properties, methods and events available for radio button which will help to build some complex things. We can refer to help center to get more information. Using these properties and methods you can customize radio button to fit your specific needs. For instance you can dynamically add buttons based on user input or other worksheet variables making your MathCAD Prime highly interactive and user friendly. In this worksheet, we will look at the process to calculate either tangential force, torque, thread angle and whether thread is self-locking or not, which will be based on varying load, coefficient of friction, selecting bolt size and etc. The first radio button are used to manipulate the alignment and orientation from step 1 and 2. These are also used as inputs to the other radio buttons so that when the selection is changed over here it would also reflect in subsequent button because the inputs have been utilized to determine the appearance of the said radio buttons. In here we need to select one of the following conditions. Based on selected conditions, variables will be populated in subsequent radio button that is step 2. Condition 1 gives us option to calculate either tangential force or torque, wherein condition 2 gives us option to find 
thread angle or whether thread are self lock or not. Once user decide what needs to be calculated, we then go to step 3 that is to select the type of thread. In here, the radio button allows user to select a thread type from super fine, fine or coarse. And based on the selection, it sets an output a corresponding lead value of 1.25, 1.5 or 2. In step 4, user needs to select between single, double or triple thread options. The value of lead is influenced by both the type of thread and type of thread starting chosen. Specifically, the lead value is calculated by multiplying the thread type by the thread starting type. This means that different thread configurations will result in varying lead values. Understanding the relationship between these factors is crucial for accurate thread performance and functionality. In step 5, radio buttons allow user to select between tighten or loosen so that the formula would be used accordingly from program while calculating the result. Now we'll dynamically add new radio button using a text box. The system will ensure that duplicate values aren't added. If you try to add something already listed, it won't be allowed. Only new, unique values will be added. Moreover, it retrieves the selected button text, removes any alphabetical characters and converts the result to a number so that it can be further utilized for calculation. This approach makes the radio button control flexible and interactive, accommodating both predefined and user-defined options. All the selection from the radio buttons are now taken into consideration and output is provided using the program. We can now verify that radio buttons provide a clear and simple way for users to make a single selection from a list of options. Their round shape and group arrangement make it easy to understand that only one option can be selected at a time. The straightforward design of radio button reduces user error and enhances the overall usability of the worksheet. Moreover, the combination of radio button with other elements like sliders, text box allows for a highly customizable and user-friendly interface. Moreover, radio button come with a range of customizable properties including formatting state, methods and events enabling tailored functionality to meet specific requirement. To summarize, Radio Button in MathCAD Prime offers a versatile and user-friendly way to allow single selections within your worksheet. They enhance interactivity and make it easier to create dynamic responsive documents. Whether you are using them for simple selection tasks or more complex conditional logic, Radio Buttons are valuable tool in your MathCAD Prime Toolkit. Thank you for joining me in this installment of Advanced Control Series. I hope you found this tutorial on radio buttons insightful and helpful. Stay tuned for more videos where we will continue to explore the powerful features of MathCAD Prime.